Serenity died on September 27, 2014. I, along with many other Albertans, learned the heartbreaking details of her story when the child and youth advocate wrote his troubling review of the circumstances surrounding her death. And I, along with all Albertans, shared the devastation we all felt as we learned more about the last month, weeks, and the days of Serenity's life. Sadly, Serenity's story is one of too many that I hear in my role as Minister of Human Services. I won't step down because it's an important work. I have an important job to do. And that's what I am here to tell you, that here is the action plan, and that's how I will move forward. Serenity died over two years ago. There has been an ongoing investigation for two years by the child and youth advocate. During that investigation, the advocate was blocked from getting several key pieces of information to help them do the investigation that is so necessary. It wasn't until one columnist discovered the gruesome case of Serenity that it started actually getting attention from this government. This is absolutely unacceptable. It's irresponsible and it's unbelievable to think that no one in this government at any time over the past month picked up the phone and asked what they needed to do to help speed up the investigation into the death of Serenity and get to the base of it. 